Deep Cycles episode 76, and a lot has happened since our last episode. OBC has come and went, and it was everything and more. Always enjoy OBC. Received this cool shirt from my good friends Remco and Ferry out of Holland. Thank you guys so much. And I returned to about a dozen Houndabar orders needed to catch up on, which I recently caught up, and things are getting back on track, which is why I'm here with you today. Just before OBC, I talked about debuting a few new products, one of them being the inch and a quarter handlebars. We're going to take a look at a few stills, and then I'll have the handlebars right here in the office so you can get a perspective. Let's go ahead and take a look. So there you go. To get an actual perspective in still shots, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between the inch and a quarter versus your over-the-counter handlebars. I know you can see it, but I thought having them here live in the office would give you a better perspective. These are the Rage handlebars. And to give you an idea of the difference in diameter is this is inch and a quarter. The grips area and the stem area is standard seven eighths, like most of your over-the-counter handlebars. I do this so that you can use over-the-counter grips and stems. You don't have to do anything different. So these are the Rage handlebars. And then we've got the Easy Rider handlebars. See, there's plenty of pullback. And my personal favorite are the Twin Peaks. Signature bar, actually the first handlebar design I did way back. And there you go. These are available to order now. If you are interested, please hit up the website at www.peakcycles.com and use the inquiry form. I'll be more than happy to help you. The other new product I debuted at OBC, let's go ahead and take a look at a few stills. Again, kind of hard to get a real good look through still shots. So I have the Springer fork right here in the office. And pretty happy with this so far. It is not 100% the way it's going to be. I'm still working on a few tweaks. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna change up the bottom here, which these tubes that hold the hardware is very commonly done in the bicycle world. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna change it to plate much like motorcycle springers. I'm still working on a spring source of which the spring design, I'm trying to get these, but they may change slightly. Otherwise, the plates are the same as my triple trees and that springer plate there is in stone. So we also have custom cut rockers to match the trees cut by my good friend, John at Gearhead Customs. And so as soon as these are available, I'll be sure to let you know. Moving on to the shop, I am excited to share with you a new perspective. Perspective, that's the word of the day. <laughs> and a new camera angle. Basically, it's a point of view angle, hands free. Small job, tested on a small job. Basically added a brake tab to a HB frame for a client. So. Let's go ahead and hit the shop and see what's happening at Peak Cycles. And get our day started here. Move the flap grinder and cut off wheel here to the main table. I do clean this table on a daily, which is why all the tools are sitting over there on the other bench. So we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves set up here. We're ready to go. Tape, pen, snippers. And we're going to work on a couple things today. One being the fork tubes, which are pretty much done as far as cap off. Got the roll bend here. This is on sleeve. Just need to weld the dropouts on. But first, and so here we have an old school HP frame, bolt frame. Belongs to my buddy Jeremy, and he's left it with me to add a coaster brake tab. And we have a slight issue with this over the fact that the hub he's using, I don't know if you can see it here, 
this arm bends upward, which means it can't get all the way in where it needs to for a tab. So we're gonna try and cut something, fabricate it, make it work, and keep it moving. Well, I just made my job 10 times easier. Originally, I was going to add a tab on the underside, like most brake tabs are. And the thing about brake tabs is they can either become an eyesore or become something kind of cool. And I always try to make them blend and not be like a highlighted gas cap on a car. <laughs> and in order to have a tab on the underside like they normally are, being this arm doesn't reach in, the tab would have been rather huge and I wasn't liking that at all. Took an existing tab and it just so happens to sit exactly where we need it. Right now I've got it backed up all the way just like the actual slot here so if you move it forward you got space. I'm gonna grind all this paint off, get it nice and smooth, weld it up and this one's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I know for certain it makes my job much easier than setting up a tripod or trying to work one-handed. Hands-free, you're gonna see a lot more point of view perspective going forward. What's up next? I'm actually working on a client order of the Caddy. I'm gonna call it the Caddy 2. If you're familiar with the Caddy, it's actually my very first frame design. You can see it on all my social media pages. And what we're gonna do differently is the original Caddy had the double backbone. This new one is gonna have your traditional single backbone with cantilevers. You'll see. Before we sign off, I wanna to touch on a few things. One is the handlebars we talked about today. The fabrication process for those handlebars are available on episodes 73 and 75, if you'd like to take a look at that. And if you're enjoying these videos, you're enjoying Peak Cycles YouTube channel, please click like, leave a comment, subscribe, even share. Most appreciated. That's pretty much going to wrap it up. Hope you enjoy today's version of what's happening at Peak Cycles. And until next time, make it a killer day! episode that we see has come and went and it was everything and more received this cool shirt from my good friends remco and fairy out of oh, this way holland <laughs> i know it can be difficult to get a really good look from still so again i brought the oh. <laughs> brought the fork in the office Let's try that again.